Hey guys, SGT Nickel here again, and today I want to talk about when it's a time to kill, and this goes for exterminating. Um, just show up, my little gun here, this is my Varminator, it's a high powered 177 air gun, uh, it's quite accurate, uh, it's not accurate with the bear sights, in fact I'm not a big fan of these sights at all, but with the scope, it's just gravy, and I've got a flashlight, because I do a lot of my killing at night. I hooked up a camera so I can videotape that. I've got a, just a standard um, air gun 22 scope and a uh, this little uh, uh, remote operates the camera so I don't have to reach up, fiddle around. I can just push the button and it's videotaping. So I'll be uh, videotaping some of my uh, kills and doing target practice and whatnot with it. And uh, yeah. So basically, what we're talking about is when it's a time to kill. And a lot of people, though, might see one mouse, one rat, and just think that's that, and, oh, I've got one mouse. But I, I'm here to tell you that's not true. <laughs> if you've seen the mouse, you've got an, you have yourself an infestation. Uh, the mice, if you have one mouse, you will never, ever see it. They're timid animals. They are shy and they will stay away. Uh, they'll come out when you're sleeping, but you won't see it. You'll see it's maybe a little bit of evidence, but you won't see the mouse. When you see the mouse, you've got now an infestation. You've got a large amount of them. And that same goes for rats. So just one thing to think about. And um, when we say a time to kill, pretty much the time to kill is when they're doing structure damage, when they're uh, affecting livestock, and being a nuisance that way, or when they're damaging your property. So let's say um, let's say you've got animals that are um, uh, just yeah, like structure damage. They're chewing on wires. They're chewing on the foundation of your house. They're chewing the drywall. They're doing anything. That's that's uh, that's structure damage. So you can kill them. If they're um, another one is disease factor. If they are potential of bringing disease to your livestock or you. That's another um, another reason you, you would want to take them out. So uh, that's just the brush over that. Uh, there's a Schedule B and there's Schedule C um, as far as the uh, exterminating goes and pest control. Anything else isn't really in those schedules. They're not a target animal. I do deal with beaver on occasion. Uh, they're not listed in here, but the beaver we have here aren't native, they're West Virginia bank beaver, so that's part of the reason. And they were also brought by the CRD, and they've become a large problem because they're not doing anything about it. So uh, sometimes we have to eliminate the odd numbers when they're flooding out people's houses and their septic systems and their wells. So those are the only times I'll ever consider doing a beaver job. Um, if a beaver's chewing on some people's trees, they can go out and they can put some wire around their trees to protect the trees. Otherwise, I'm not concerned because um, it's just that's what beavers do. And if you're not going to go and put up your preventive measures, then I'm sorry, I can't help you. So um, that's one thing. I'll just get that out of the way. <laughs> so um, here we go. We're going to the Schedule B. These are a list of animals that may be captured or killed only for specific purpose of protecting property unless open season is designated by regulation. See regional schedules for open seasons. And that's all in here. But because it's exterminating, we don't worry about open seasons. We only do it if it's um, for, for, for the purposes of what I stated before. So... The Schedule B animals are the coast mole, snowshoe hare of all species of the subfamily, so that's lemmings, except for the muskrat. So I think muskrat's protected. I don't think we're allowed to touch the muskrat. That's the reason um, it's been exempt. The bushy tail wood rat, so that means the bushy tail wood rat is the pack rat. You can't kill it unless it's doing structure damage, period. Um, they are protected. It says all species of deer mice, well, in fact, is deer mice carry hantavirus? Um, they should be actually in the Schedule C list. I don't understand this. This is Politex, by the way. It's, it's some pencil pusher made this up. 
That's all. It's got nothing to do with anything else but some guy who decides, oh, well, this is the rule. This is the rule. That's how I see it. Um, so not all this will always make sense. But um, deer mice, I mean, you put, just, yeah, don't even worry about them. Put out your traps and kill them. You're not getting in trouble for catching house mice. If they're in your house, kill them. If they're outside, leave them alone. That's the general rule. <laughs> so uh, they'd say porcupine. Uh, Northern Pocket Gopher, Yellow-Bellied Marmot, Woodchuck, Colombian Ground Squirrel, Striped Skunk, Raccoon, and Spotted Skunk. So all these can basically only be killed or captured for um, the protection of your property. So I um, will sometimes do a live trap if they're like, I have some ponds that's got fish in them, and one of them is an irrigation pond and drinking pond. We don't want animals living in there, so... I'll try and catch them with a the live trap, and we will get them out. So uh, we do that. If they're being a real problem, they're killing off the fish. I relocate them once. If they come back, then sometimes we end up uh, just shooting them and then dragging them out. So it, it all depends. Um, schedule C, animals. This is now a, another schedule. These are animals that can be captured or killed anywhere at any time in BC. Um, the birds in Schedule C can be used uh, or can be hunted by using electronic call. The, um, it's illegal to use electronic calls in Canada for um, hunting except for exterminating. It's the only time you're allowed to. So that's why Schedule C, we can use electronic calls to, for instance, bring in uh, starling or pigeons and be able to shoot them. So um, the Schedule C wildlife are American bullfrog, green frog, all species of the snapping turtle, North American possums, Eastern cottontail and European rabbit. These are um, pretty much domestic rabbits. These are rabbits that people have let go and um, you don't need a hunting license to shoot them. In fact, I recommend if you did shoot them, why not eat them? Because I don't see anything wrong with that. Um, the Nutra, I don't know what that is. N-U-T-R-I-A, um, a mat, um, Myocaster copus, and its English name is Nutra. I've never seen one, never heard of one. I don't even know what, what, whether it's a bird or an animal or a frog or a lizard. Don't know, but um, they're Schedule C, so maybe I'll look that up. Some homework. A species, any species of the gray squirrel and fox squirrel, so you don't need a hunting license for them, for these reasons. As uh, Schedule C. Um, the house sparrow, European starling. Now, the European starling is invasive species. A lady thought it would be a good idea to introduce them to Central Park in New York, and she brought a couple over from Europe. She released them with no permission, and uh, they took over like wildfire. And they're now very hard on the domestic birds that live here and the native birds, So, and also they're hard on uh, uh, livestock as well because they eat up all the feed. Because they come in large numbers, they eat up all the feed, they leave and start out the livestock. So there's a shoot to kill order on them. Um, you can destroy their eggs and nests. Just if you see them, don't feel bad. Please kill them because you're actually doing us a favor. So um, that one's a shoot to kill order, actually. Uh, the uh, rock dove is another one. Um, they're, I don't know, they're, I like them to be sure <laughs> honest. So I don't really think that. They should be on this list, but anyway, they are. So I guess if they're in large numbers, like I can see places that where where it is almost like, you know, they are in, are in infestation. So you can, so yeah, if they're shitting all over the place and I can see if they're bringing the disease, you might want to take them out. I guess if they're living up in your barn and they're shitting on your cow feed, might be a time to deal with the birds. So, so yeah. And then here's another is uh, issue here. This is, you do need a hunting license to hunt the following Schedule C wildlife unless you are hunting them on your property or they are damaging your property. So these ones, you actually need a hunting license. But if you are, like I said, on your own property or they're damaging your property, then you don't. And these animals are the Northwestern Crow, the American Crow, Black-billed Magpie, brown-headed cowbird, and the eggs of these birds and species may be destroyed. 
So that's something to keep in consideration. And it, we'll just add this one with uh, ear tags and collars. Please avoid shooting wildlife with ear tags or radio collars applied for research programs. If you inadvertently kill any animal with such a device, contact your local MOE office because the meat may or may not be edible. These animals were handled using immobilizing drugs and are not suitable for people to eat under the drugs until the drugs have left, left the animal system. The caller must be returned to MOE. So that's something to think of. And um, yeah, that's pretty much uh, all I can go over um, as far as the hunting up and pesticide or pest control goes. Um, what I'd recommend to use is just an air gun. You don't need a PAL to buy any air gun under uh, 495 feet per second. They're very effective to take out most of the birds that I listed. A raccoon and some of the bigger animals, you're going to need something a little heavier. So I don't recommend using an air gun on them. Raccoons especially, you need at least a 22. I find four shots with a 22, and that generally finally kills the coon, but they're a pretty tough little animal, so they can take a lot. Um, so yeah, you really need that higher caliber or more velocity for those but um yeah so um pretty much this was a talk on when it's the time to kill and the time when you want to do that is when it's creating structure damage when it's uh, potentially bringing disease or when it's damaging your property or uh affecting your livestock so um yeah i hope that sort of opens some I don't know how to explain it, but I hope this uh, just opens up your view a bit more into this um, this whole, the, I guess, the killing factor, and um, sort of lets you know of what you can, more of what you can do. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's pretty much all I've got to say about it. Um, any questions, feel free just to leave a comment, and I'll try and get back. And um, yeah, hope that... Uh, opens your your mind up to that just one last thing i'll leave you with is um when it comes to word of mouth and just listening to what buddy tells you and going off that like i hear things like oh well raccoons are protected you can't shoot them uh because of bc wildlife and yes that is true but that's the whole reason this thing was built what was written it's your hunting synopsis for hunting and trapping so go out learn it read it find out yourself don't just go by word of mouth because you get broken telephone and you get a serious um, misinformation going on and then uh, you have people making false reports on you and it's not necessary this hasn't happened to me but i could see this happening uh from especially from some of the talk i've i've heard so um yeah anyway hope that um enlightens some yeah thanks for watching